Welcome into a really quick Musings from the Mind of tutorial on how to make a simple uh, tank tread. So what we're going to do is we're going to do File, New, General. Um, my default, I have nothing coming up. Uh, if you would like, uh, go ahead and delete the default cube. Um, first thing we want to do is shift A and add a mesh cube. I'm going to hit S to scale it, 0.25. I'm going to hit I on the keyboard to zoom in. I am going to scale Z, 0.5. And then I'm going to hit 7 for the top view. And I'm going to tab into edit mode. I'm going to hit uh, shift R. No, I'm not. I'm going to hit Tab back into edit mode, I'm going to hit control R because I want to do some loop cuts and I want to do them uh, vertically and I'm going to roll the mouse wheel until I have created six segments. I'm going to hit the left click twice to put it in place. I'm going to change to face select and I'm going to select three faces holding down uh, shift and click and click. I'm going to go back into front mode and I'm going to extrude and take those guys up uh, just a smidge. Uh, take them up about that far. All right, now let's tab back out of there. And now I'm going to add a curve, Shift A, curve. We'll just add a circle. I'm going to rotate X 90. And then I'm going to scale that X times 2. And then I am going to tab, uh, tab in here and right click and subdivide. Now then, we're going to tab back out of object mode. We're going to click on our um, tread. We're going to go to modifiers. We're going to add an array modifier. And as you see, as we add a count, uh, it's just going to keep adding instances. The problem here is obviously it's not following our trink tread. So we're going to add one more modifier. We're going to add a curve modifier. We're going to select uh, the Bezier curve. And as you can see, it is on there. It's deforming on the x-axis. I am going to scale this down some more. So I'm going to do scale 0.5. And I still don't like that. I want to do scale Z 0.5. And I'm going to scale X 2. That looks a little bit better. Now I'm going to go back to my array modifier and I'm just going to keep adding instances until I'm all the way around. And then it's very easy to animate this. I'm going to, on frame one, I'm just going to hit I, uh, lock location, and then I'm going to go over here to frame 250. And I'm going to do, with the cube still selected, I'm going to do G. Uh, I'm going to move it on the X axis by hitting X. I'm going to hit 5 and I'm going to hit Enter. I'm going to hit I to lock that location as well. And then when I hit Space, my tread is moving. And you know I don't really necessarily like the shape of this tread wheel. So I can kind of uh, select the curve. I can tab into the curve. And I'm going to go ahead and select Proportional Editing. And I'm going to get this tread. I'm going to kind of even it out some. I'm going to get this guy right here, and I'm going to even him out some so it has a little bit better of a look. Take this one up a little bit. But uh, you can see as I move the curve around, the tread adjusts. Uh, but as you can see, I'm now a little longer than I was before. All I have to do is tab out, go back to the cube, and up my count, and I have a continuous tread again. Hope that was helpful. Just a quick little tread. Please hit the subscribe button and follow along with us as I learn to do new things.